How long was that? Like 30 plus minutes? I assume that is the animation because I finished with Knuckles, so if I played with any other character, it would have been different. Oh, first run complete! Also, I realized I can move on this segment. Let's go! <laughs> we done it! Oh my goodness! Okay, that was exhilarating. <laughs> I mean, that final boss was something, alright, but... Considering that it's not impossible to avoid every single obstacle that I had to be had to face, that was reasonably difficult. I mean, it was difficult, but it wasn't like completely unreasonable. So that's why I say this was good. Oh my goodness, I still am full of adrenaline though. Oh, I mean that's my branding was still. Oh, let's go. That was so fun, honestly, and this game in particular, overall, I really love it. I mean, this game has thrown curveball after curveball after curveball with every zone I've been in. From the music, honestly, been fantastic in almost every zone, to the boss fights, of course, throwing second phases without me realizing, and the last boss, of course, not being an exception, to, of course, um... I mean, just so many, like, unique mechanics in some of the levels. I mean, that Act 2 was something else in Egg Fortress. Like, that was fun. I really like the idea, and that's why I quite- I kind of, like, enjoyed it better, honestly. You did it without using a single Chaos Emma because you were broke of rings. I mean, to be fair, I don't think it's possible to stay in super farm, honestly, in, in that zone, um, Patrick. So, I don't think you have a choice. And speaking of not having a choice, there were several bosses in the game that they did not leave you a choice. Like, the second phase in, um... Cyber... Um... Oh, I keep forgetting the place. Cyber... Not space, I keep forgetting the place. Cyber... Ah, I forgot the zone name, but that second phase right did not allow you to use super form. Um, so that threw me off, but honestly, even then, the boss wasn't that difficult. Okay, not say it wasn't difficult in general, but honestly, it's not like I had so much trouble trying to get through it. It was fun, and that's why, that's why I really like this. Oh man, um, I still might be full of adrenaline right now, so I apologize if my words of review sound all over the place. But boy, that was fun to witness. Fun to play, and I can't wait to try this again. The thing is that I know for a fact there is more than one story in this game. Like, what we experienced, right, there's actually more to this than meets the eye. Um, not saying I have to finish with every single character, but there's actually something else that has been added that I've uh, heard of, which I can't wait to try if that's the case. Also, this anime statement is quite nice, honestly. Just a relaxing scroller with rings. Kinda of like Sonic Runners. Oh, wait. Then again, I play Sonic Runners myself, and uh, that game is fun, so I, I quite like this um, Endless Runner. Oh, but overall, I really enjoy all that I've witnessed, honestly. The, the zones are fun. Music, honestly, 80-90% fantastic. I mean, I know people have liked the rug on June Circus overuse of the Sonic uh, 1 drums, but honestly, he did them justice with this game in my opinion. There are certain tracks that had the drums, and honestly, I grade better than Sonic 4 Episode 2. And that game, I actually quite like several tracks like White Park, um, Sky Fortress, I think that's the name. And because of that, oh, Sega Singapore right there, there are two people involved, lol. Um, so that's why I really enjoyed this experience. There's more, but it looks a post game, that's all I'm going to say. Ooh, so at least you have played the game before, huh, Matrix? Well, I guess in terms of the main playthrough, I guess that's it. But I guess in terms of anything else after, we're not done yet. There's post-game, there's the Seven Chaos Emeralds, which I know for a fact have not played much of a role um, yet. This tells me they're going to play a huge role in what's cut to come in post-game. Still though, the fact... Oof. 
the fact that it's so enjoyable even then, this is this has been a great experience playing this game, and I'm so glad I decided to get this game earlier. Like, honestly, when I saw the price, I was just like, um... Oh, you saw Watch the Boss, nice. Um... The fact that... Well, how to say this? The fact that uh, there's more to come, I can't wait. And we'll get to see what's uh, coming as well, and... You know what the funny thing is, Patrick? It kind of was a good thing that I decided to start uh, later. Because had I started earlier, I would have had to find something to waste the time. But oh my goodness, this was great. Also, this segment is taking quite some time, I noticed. Is it just me? All these credits are so slow. It's kind of like Rayman Legends, honestly, but at least it's just more fun to play than the Rayman Legends and just breaking stuff. Well, yeah, I know it's the credits, I know, but still. I mean, it kind of gone make it a bit faster. You know? Anyways, uh, the jokes aside, really enjoyed this game overall. I would say a solid 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, there were some points that were frustrating. That's why I'm going to grade it down a bit, but honestly, this is an exotic experience I think anyone should join, uh, try, even the cl even the classic fans. I know, not even the classic, even the modern fans, I should say, those who like the 3D games. This is a must-play, in my opinion. Like, I recommended Gamera this game, he said that he has heard enough, and he said you want to try it. So hopefully, with this play trick, convince more of you guys to try it out. Also, I probably should get closer to the camera, because boy, I was kind of laid out in exhaustion after all that. <laughs> Oh my word, this is- this was fun. This was honestly fun. And since the credits continue on, I might as well say this. Uh, top 3 music tracks for me. There were several tracks honestly I really like. But excluding Egg Fortress, because honestly I'm gonna have to give it more thought before I put Egg Fortress in the- in the mix. Um, I'm gonna say top 3 in no particular order. Cyber Cyber Gadget Zone Act One. Um. This music, which is um. Press uh Press Factory, excuse me, Act One, and then lastly, Speed Jungle Act Two. I think those are my top three. Uh, Egg Fortress is going to be in top 5, guaranteed, alongside probably Lagoon City, Act 2. Honestly, all of those were my top uh, favorite tracks. It's not to say any of the other tracks are bad, they were just held in comparison. And those who were involved, T-Lopes, June, and many others, honestly did a fantastic job of getting it. I really enjoyed this experience. There's still more to come, that is the crazy thing about this, there's still more to do. Like this tune, um, Golden Capital, like great zone name first of all, and even though the music is quite uh, like simple, um, Honestly, it fit the, the theming of Golden Capital. That's why I didn't really mind the fact that the drums were being used, let alone the, the, mu that the music was quite plain. It's kind of like, you know, you just came off of um, Lagoon, so, uh, Lagoon um, City, and you're on the 7th zone. And it made it look as though, it kind of made you think it was the final zone, considering it's number 7. At least I think it's number 7. Is it number 7? Yeah, it's number 7. So that's what I quite like about uh, the theme part of this. No, it's not number 7 actually, this is number 8. This is right after the 7th zone. So it kind of makes you feel as though it's the final one, but really there was way more to come. So that's why I kind of like the triumphant feel of uh, Golden Capital. It also kind of felt like a... Um, hmm, what do you call those? Prelude to the second part of the game where you're not collecting memorals. And it's all like the story plot and all that stuff. That's what I quite like. Cryware, there they are. Font designed by Fontworks Inc. Haruki, Satomi, Yukio, Sujino, Suji, Yutsumi, 
Osamu Ohashi. I definitely butchered the third name, I just realized. Shuji Yusuni. There we go. English, French, I think. I don't even know the language on that. But yeah, I, I... Wow. Really enjoyed this game. And I guess next time on Sonic Superstars? Post game time. We'll see what is in store for me. And of course, for you guys. Oh, music's slowing down. Six medals. I'll take it. Oof. What? Uh, what an experience. Trip story! There it is! Trip's available in storyboard, trip's available in time attack. There's trip story. So I assume this is basically Sonic Adventure 2, but 2D. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to try that. But first, before I leave, let's try Trip in story mode. Eight medals, one medal for two hits on Eggman. Nice. We got the battle mask, that's nice. Uh, yes, I actually want to go to the shop because... Oh, I'm five away. Well, you know what? I do have fruit, so... What better way to experiment with Trip? By trying the bridge act. Let's try it. That's a six lead, not eight. Oh, I definitely saw that as eight, sorry. I can read. Yo, just say I love trips. Um what do you call that? I love trips, um, Animation? No, not animation. I love Trip's uh, spin jump uh, thingy, and he's also a double jump. Interesting. Oh, I thought that was a uh, ground I can go through. I guess not. So, so far, I know that Trip is basically Amy. Except just probably, probably maybe only just a double jump, but that might be an incorrect statement that I'm about to get proven wrong on in due time. Ooh. Nice! Does Trip have a hammer? I don't think so. That's uh, six more medals. Oh. Wow, okay. That's cute. And also, that's fitting. No wonder he or she is called Trip. I don't know if he's a boy or girl yet. Actually, nah, you can help me search it up if Trip is a boy or girl, because I don't even know either. Alright, now with 51 medals, I can finally buy that prototype. Let's see what that's about. Oh wait, oh wait, no way. I can swap it to prototypes? Oh that's 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 sick. That is sick. Oh bruh, that means I can have multiple of these. No, I just realized the cyber gadget um boss, the second phase had the robots incoming. I did these um basic controllers robots. Is a she. Oh, that's kind of cool. Also, that's so cool. All right, now let's let's put Trip into action. I mean, it looks as though it's just the double jump, but I think she has a better um, like jump than uh, than um, Amy. That, but that just might be me.
Okay, good. I was thinking also, are the special stages depending on the act? And the answer is yes. So I actually get to experience the first act with the basic time as well, which is quite nice. Although I also can see this is a very good spot for grinding for medals. Which is quite funny, honestly. I guess it allows me to reach a that I've never been. I mean... It looks like I know but the button will does anything else with Trip, so I guess it's just a double jump? But then again, I guess it makes sense it's just one, um, like, buff. Considering the fact that if you look at uh, Amy, not only does she have the double jump, she also has a hammer. So, I think anything else would have just made, um, like, things just like, people compare Trip to Amy then. So, I think it's good that they get trip only one thing to play with, her, and that's a double jump. Oh man, look at the background as well. Alright, well, you know what else I can do? Yeah. What can I do with... Uh, okay! Go to sell. Trip is basically... Trip Super Sonic Fall is basically Yoshi's final smash in... Um, Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> oh, that is so charming! I love that. I, I love that to the core. I love that. Also, Patrick, that answers your question, I assume. <laughs> oh man, I, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy this. So luckily I could just fly, and of course it's the only uh, super, uh, super form that doesn't like gain speed. It's all just about, well, I don't know, just messing around. Wow, actually, oh wow, and she actually does play like a regular character as well if you wanted to. And there's tri uh, Trip's uh, icon. <laughs> I just, there's just something about Trip tripping over at the end there that is just so cute to see. There's just something about that. It's just cute to see. All right. Okay. With that said, I think I'm gonna end things off right here. Wow. Um, I'll say this though. I can't wait to try the rest of the uh, rest of this uh, game with Trip. Now that I have access to her. And the thing also this is the end. Well at least for the story, the main story that is. I find the cyber on its own, which means sta oh cyber station, excuse me. I said cyber gadget for some reason. And there is the access. Can I access the final boss actually directly? Well, again, the final boss is uh, on Act 2, so... And yeah, there's nothing else after, so... Oof. Jeez Louise. Actually, hang on. Yeah, I was gonna say, there probably is a practice stage for Trip. Is there anything in particular? Ring rolling. Press it, hold A while jumping and touch a wall. 
Whoa! Okay, that's cool. And also, I just realized that um, that act I did, Rich Island Act 1, is not the best act to showcase that, so... I'm gonna showcase it just for a bit in the Sky Temple. So you're basically the Spike Wisp from Sonic Colors. Note it. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's not fall. So that means I can just hang on. Interesting, man. Knowing that, and knowing that there's a separate story for Trip, I am curious to see how the level design will be like for, for Trip's levels, considering she has that power of all things. That would be cool to see. Oh, uh oh. I'm stuck in limbo because of the trap below me. That was weird. I just now was thinking that uh, I can climb up walls, can I? And the answer is yes. Wait. Oh wait, wrong way. Also, very good examples to why I say that it doesn't matter if you have like certain drums that you don't like. All that matters is if the music fits, and honestly, this music fits quite well. That looks cool. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm not saying much, honestly, I'm just jamming. Music's just that good, honestly, that's why I'm enjoying this a lot. Man, double jumps would be fun to use as well, like, look at this. Reaching places like higher places easily now. Let's not go too far ahead. Whoa! All right, what does trip look like? What does trip look like with uh, on this? Let's see here.
Oh, ooh. Okay, well. <laughs> Maybe not. That's fine. How many rates do I have, actually? Oh, actually, it's just have enough. Alright. How much fun can I have with this boss? Wait. Can, can she not lose rings? Wow, I'm just... She's also, uh, um, like, um... Hit detector, uh, hit detector, honestly, because you can see, like, where it also... Where else you can, uh, attack a man in his, uh, boot. That was long-lived. <laughs> Tell me about it. That's fine. Yeah, imagine. Also, the fact that you use Trip's Dragon Form is so cool. Uh, that, this is what I love about uh, Trip, honestly. And he's, he, he's down. Ooh, barely! Nice! Great way to end off the, not only episode, but also the stream. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for now. I guess it turns off strip. That's all the medals. <laughs>